It's this old outboard. Okay, here we go, 1963, 28 horse, Johnson Super C horse, short shaft, tiller. I picked this little puppy up for 60 bucks and I can't wait to get her up and running. Did I say little puppy? This thing is a beast. The compression was right around 100 on both cylinders, but uh, I think I can get it up to 120. So stick around and watch me tear this baby apart. Wow, here's something really cool. The Magneto Cam. It is actually part of the crankshaft. It is not a separate part. It's pretty cool. Okay, got the starter off. Now I'm going to pull the carburetor off. And I recommend take a lot of pictures and some video. That way you won't uh, forget how to hook everything else back up. Well, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. And this time it looks like I got lucky. This thing is really clean. Unfortunately, it still has the old style cork float. 
which I will be replacing. It's all glazed over, but wow, look how clean this thing is in there. Like I said, sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes you don't. So I'm real happy about that. And actually, I'll just tear this thing off. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Wow. Super lucky. Super lucky. All right, so new float on the menu. I'm going to take off this old school fuel pump, pull it apart, see what it looks like. Okay, ready for this? The carburetor looks so good, nice and clean. The fuel pump, oh, look at there's even water in the bowl. Not to worry because these things are on eBay, dirt cheap. All the parts are available, marineengine.com or boats.net. All the parts are available for this thing, cheap. So I'm not real worried about this. All right, so on this older model, 63, this is the kill switch, which I'm not familiar with this type of system, but it obviously works on some type of vacuum and does something, probably cuts off on the gas supply or something. I'll know after I tear it apart and figure it out. I could go to a modern fuel pump, but I'd have to change these covers and by the time I'm done with all that it's going to be three times more expensive so I'm going to stick with the original all right so that came off pretty easy back's got four screws on it and like I said I'll have to tear it apart and see exactly how it works and if it's working the other nice thing about some of these older motors it's so nice when you come across one that the screws come out nice and easy, bolts come out nice and easy, it's not all corroded together. So you know the motor for most of its life has been taken care of pretty good. Alright, so let's see what's next. Alright, so here you can see I pulled the uh, head off. A little nasty in there. I had sprayed some PV blaster in there when I did the compression test. And it's hard to see in there. Let me see if I can get some light here. How do I turn the light on? Hold on. All right, there's with some light. And I have to put two car users save an average of over three thousand dollars on the MSRP when you're ready to buy a new or used car. Visit True Car to enjoy a more nut back on the crankshaft so I can turn it and we'll take a look at the cylinder walls. Okay, I had to get it out in the sun so I could really get a good look and wow it looks really good in there. A little scuff mark on the top cylinder the top there but nothing to really worry about I'm really impressed once again I don't know if I mentioned that how easy these bolts just came right out head just popped right off unbelievable for a motor
All right, so what I'm going to do now is pull this uh, lower unit off and see what uh, is going on in there. Look at this. These bolts are just coming out. They look like brand new. This is so unheard of. But so nice. The other nice thing about these older motors is the gear case. Easy, easy, easy to work on. You don't need any special tools. Take it apart. Put new seals in. If you don't have any seals, a little silicone usually does the job on these. Easy to work on. Love it. All right, she's off. Water tube looks good. A little crusty in there. Here's your water pump. Grommet looks good. Right there. I gotta pull that pump off and check the impeller. And just look at that drive shaft. Holy mackerel. That's like unheard of too. It's clean as a whistle. Man, it looks brand new. All right, so the housing looks good. Just needs to be cleaned up. And actually, the impeller is not in really, you know, uh, you could use it, but I'm probably going to replace that. Still flexible. It's just warped. <laughs> All right, so I pulled the drive shaft out, dumped it over, and a little bit of oil came out with a little bit of water. And I'm guessing that's why it's all black up in here on this side, because the oil leaked out. So, I'll be replacing this seal also. So here's the uh, starter motor, took it apart, a little crusty, a little rusty, brushes look good, cleaned it all up, put it all back together, tested fine, I think it's going to be good.
Okay, that's going to do it for Resurrecting the Beast Part 1. Thanks for watching this old outboard.